Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the talent card over here. So you are using a lot of your skills and talents uh, at this particular moment. You're employing it in your work or you could even be employing it in your you know, relationship um, um, arena. Uh, but you're using a lot of your skills and you're very, very skilled at what you're doing. Uh, you know, you're making music. So it's almost as though you, know, you have a very, very um, specific talent uh, that is unique to you and you are now using it to get the job done. There's something that you're considering doing, taking a leap of faith, and maybe it involves using this talent. So maybe you're branching out or starting something new, but you're, you know, considering it very, very carefully. So you've got the stop, look, li and listen card. It looks like you want to make, a, you know, a change, a big change, uh, but you're now reviewing everything. So you've, you've, you're sitting back there and 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 weighing all your options. There's some kind of barrier or obstacle to you moving forward. You've got this dark-haired person, uh, woman here. So you could be dealing with somebody that's preventing you from moving forward uh, from making plans for the future or this could be you trying to make plans or move forward but there's something that's actually preventing you so you do want to make that that leap of faith um, it seems but there's you know it, may, it might be a bit daunting right now you do have the skills and talents to do it um, but something is holding you back right now so in the past you were dealing with a lot of jealousy so uh, you know people around you pretending to be what they aren't and you know there was a lot of uh, nastiness going on over there so you were dealing with all these jealous people um, it seems like you may have encountered a stranger maybe somebody brought in some kind of information uh, somebody you don't know maybe a message came in uh, and you know somebody said something that uh, you know um, set off uh, you you thinking about doing something brand new so whatever the message this the stranger brought in has changed the way you're looking at uh, life right now now you've got the reconciliation card so there looks like there's some kind of relationship that broke down that maybe you'll be trying uh, to mend bridges over there or you're trying to reconcile with this person you're trying to heal a relationship there there's a big change coming in over here so the end of the old you've got the leaves falling out you're going through the winter of your life and it seems like now big change is going to come in. The spring usually comes in so uh, growth will start. And since it's your birthday month, it looks like this is the time where your new year begins and a big change will come in for you. It's a rebirth, a time of rebirth. So those are the energies for the, that week. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Pagan Ways Tarot. I have... Um, shuffled this deck and I put it in the description box so please have a look it's a very beautiful deck Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Temperance card over here, and this is moving away from, uh, you know, those difficult situations, and this is healing. This is also getting a lot of advice and guidance. Uh, this is the card ruled by Archangel Gabriel. So, you know, this is about uh, having new ideas. Uh, you know, she rules um, Gabriella. She rules the uh, arts and, uh, you know, uh, new ideas and creative part of your life. So this is where you're going at the moment, and this is how you're moving into the future. It looks like you're also healing and you're getting a lot of advice from people. You might be asking for advice, but you're definitely, uh, you know, on the healing pathway. And you're with the Temperance card, it's about using all your skills and talents in order for you to move forward. So, uh, you know, the energy read spoke about using talents. So you have unique talents, something that is, uh, you know, unique to you. Nobody else has it. Uh, and you need to actually... Uh, recognize those and you need to put those into place you need to work with those in order for you to move forward and this is how you will heal and this is how you will make a change in your future so there is something very unique about you so you've got the nine of wands over the here 
that's the resilience card in this particular deck and the transition. So, you know, you have been fighting a lot of battles. You can see there's a lot of battles. The sky is very cloudy and there's a lot of fire in the background over there. Uh, you can see this person looks very worn out. The wounded warrior is usually what this card stands for. So having fought a lot of battles and having one last battle. Also watch your back card with the nine of wands. So be careful about who you trust as well. But, you know, you've got to just dig deep in and uh, pull out that strength that you do have. You're at the last remnants of strength, it seems you know things have not been going well but you are managing to stand stand up for yourself and it looks like you are making that transition you are moving away there were a lot of tower moments that you felt but you are now following your own star you are being guided and you are managing to come out of that uh, place where there was so much of lack of clarity you can see there's a lot of mist going on over here the clouds are parting to reveal your life plan so it looks like you know clarity is coming in now you're start starting to see the bigger picture and move away from that battle that you fought You've got the King of Cups over here. So this could be somebody that you're getting advice from or somebody around you. This could be a, a water sign person. So a Scorpio, um, Cancer or a Pisces uh, person that you're dealing with. This could also be, you know, that you may have needed to get some kind of medical advice, but there's, there's some kind of support that came in for you. This person plays a very, very prominent role in your life. You may have also had dealings with a fire sign person over here. So the King of Wands, this person seems to have stirred up a lot of problems over here. There's a lot of fire in this card over here. But that's all now behind you. This is also showing that you are taking control of your life again. You are back in the driver's seat again and you are taking back that control. So you are sorting through your problems and taking control. And in your mind, you're moving away from all that problems that you went through. So you're leaving behind the cups that have fallen and you're going, finding your new pathway in life. This is the Pathfinder card, finding a new direction, finding a new journey and moving away from it, getting better men mental clarity. You can see the birds moving away from the winter and moving into the spring you know birds are uh, um, migrating so it looks like that's where you are you're moving your thoughts and your actions away from the old and moving it away you know moving it to warmer climes if you like so you've got the Ten of Swords over here. So you did go through a, a really destructive phase in your life. Complete ruination. People uh, stabbed you in the back. Uh, it was a situation that could not be remedied. You can see everything is burnt. So your whole life seems to be in ashes. But you are going to be rising like a phoenix from that ashes as well. So the worst is behind you and you will now move forward. So you're investing in yourself. You're waiting for things to happen. This is about, you know, just waiting uh, and, you know, um, giving it some time. It seems like, you know, you needn't worry because you will get the rewards. So whatever you are putting in, all the hard work that you're putting into, whatever this project is or whatever this thing is that you're putting all this hard work and effort into, you will get and you will reap the rewards. Apples will fall from the tree. So don't worry. Just have patience. Divine timing is at play here. Now, uh, you know, you've got the Five of Pentacles. People see you as somebody who is alone and, um, you know, having dealt with a lot of toxic people that caused a lot of financial loss, a lot of restriction, and you're still, you know, you're not in such a good place at the moment. You're still feeling very lonely, very isolated, and feeling very, very abandoned. Uh, and, you know, you feel like everybody has been very, very cruel to you. And, you know, you can see this Five of Pentacles with that Ten of Swords caused a lot of loss. So you are getting through that particular situation. But the worst is behind you. What you want is the Ten of Cups, so you want to re achieve everything. You want rewards to come to you. You want to be happy. Uh, you know, you want to, this is what's in your hopes and fears. You do want that happiness and stability to come in. Maybe you even want a good family life to come in. So coming in for you is the Three of Cups. This is the Grace card, so it looks like the universe is going to give you what you want. There's support coming in. There might be three offers coming in for you that's going to bring in a lot of joy and happiness and a lot of support. You are feeling very defeated. You've got to leave that behind you and move forward. With the Five of Swords, people were not so good. So try, uh, be careful who you trust. There was a lot of vindictive behavior that went on. And be careful, you know, there could have been uh, some kind of legal issue that you dealt with that, um, did not go your way as well so you are in a very 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 isolated because there's a lot of snow around this person you're in a you know feeling a bit down and out but it looks like the sun is coming in for you so everything is about to change the sun brings in clarity but it also brings in new growth and it brings in a lot of uh, this is such a positive card 
because it brings in a, such a lot of victory and it brings in a complete change. So it's a night and day from the five of swords you're going into the sun, you know, some from darkness into the light. So it looks like things are going to move in and there's a new sun rising over here. So with this, uh, you know, with this birth month coming in for you, it looks like things are going to turn around. So this is going to be your turnaround year and looks like things are going to start moving and progressing and growing. You can see this abundance of uh, flowers over here in this field, um, a lot of light uh, coming in. So there's going to be a lot of happiness that comes in. So all the misery that you went through ends with the sun card, which means that it's going to be a big turnaround. And it's a major arcana card. So this is definitely coming in for you. And you, whether you like it or not, happiness and joy is going to come in for you. Now you've got the Ten of Autumn over here as the first card in the Oracle read, which says that you know that it may have been an old family situation, an old financial situation is now finished and done with. It's over. Take steps to ensure financial security of your children and loved one, making fi wise financial investments, planning for retirement, honoring fi family traditions. This could be money coming in for you. So you could get some kind of payout coming in over here. This could be an inheritance. Uh, this could be a change. You know, it could be a payout from a job situation, ending an old job situation. Uh, so an end of an old family situation. This could be a payout after a divorce. Uh, but definitely money coming in for you. And that's going to give you that financial independence. You can even invest that money. The Ace of Winter shows victory. So don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It is important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas ideas that should be implemented so you are going to leave you know you're going to conquer any kind of challenge she's put the lion behind her and she's walking forward and you can see she's walking forward very bravely so you are taking control of that situation and you will be victorious in it this is a card of winning the battle and uh, you know cutting out the old and making room for the new and then you've got the Nine of Summer, which is such a brilliant card to end on because its wishes come true, dreams are fulfilled, and a magical time of life. So after all of this that you have been through in these past few years, it looks like the wishes are finally coming through. So you end with the Sun and the Nine of Summer. So that's such a beautiful gift, uh, you knowing that you, know, you are going to get all your wishes fulfilled. You're going to be victorious with the Ace of Winter. Nothing can bring you down. And the Ten of Autumn looks like there's going to be some kind of financial payout. So all that you have gone through with this Ten of wa Swords, uh, you know, and with the Nine of Wands and this Restriction card with this Five of Pentacles, it looks like, you know, things are about to do a major turnaround. Wishes are going to be fulfilled and it looks like the Sun is coming back into your life. So Clarity and, and luck are all coming your way soon. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and all the best, Taurus. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.